Hello, and welcome to another fun Phil Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? started patching together a new synth um i know i'm gonna probably use a note in mostly uh we'll keep the clock in there for now um let's go ahead and let's capture everything in well actually we want to use a mixer so let's go with the toy box Four channel mixer and let's go ahead and start patching things in here. So I'm just going to get uh, the mixer patched in for right now. I know I'm going to mix together a few um, oscillator signals, so um, let's go ahead and add uh let's go ahead and start with because we're definitely going to need a envelope so let's go ahead and pull an envelope in here uh let's just use for now let's use this envelope we might use that multi-break point possibly but for right now let's just use this one and then um let's also look at the toy box VCA. Let's just search VCA and see what all comes up. So we have the Euro React mod trapezoid envelope and VCA. We have that VCA uh, from Block Space, uh, just the regular Bento, and then uh, dual VCA from the Free Pack Toy Box. Then we also have an add envelope and VCA. So you see this trapezoid one here. I haven't really ever messed with this one, I don't think. So it's a complex envelope based on the envelope found in the classic synthy. It's similar to the add envelope block, but it has two additional stages. A hold on stage adds a held stage. Okay. So there's some different stuff going on. Let's see a VCA output. So I do want to spend some time figuring that out one day, but not for today. So we're going to keep things fairly simple, but for today, um, I'm going to go ahead and just add the toy box VCA. So um, I know the envelope needs to uh, control the VCA, and typically these need to start at a, like a zero position and then be down regulated from what I remember so let's go ahead and set that up and let's just make a mental note of that that should work just fine there um, but this has a dual VCA so then we can patch this into the output section so let's go ahead and patch this guy in go output one from out one and output two from out two and then let's get our oscillators in here. So um, I want to choose a toy box oscillator, just like a basic one for uh, reference purposes. And I'll go with a basic filter as well. Um, so let's go toy box filter and let's go with the mini filter. All right. Now let's get our pitch signal put in here and then output <clears throat> to the filter and then this is gonna go into input one on the VCA. And then I wanna bring in another 
uh, oscillator actually. So I want to go look at some things in the Euro React library, which is extensive. I mean, if you just look through the free edition of the library comes with a number of oscillators, uh, mix, final output, you know, all sorts of things that you can use. So just like the toy box um, library, there's just a number of things that can be used in here as well. And slowly but surely, we're going to work our way through uh, all of these and start learning how all these work. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to just grab some oscillators and start learning uh, what some of these oscillators do, uh, what they're made of, you know, how they work. So let's look at, for today, the complex oscillator. So one of the foundations of West Coast synthesis, complex oscillator is generally a dual oscillator with many internal modulation buses between the two. The type of design can be traced back to early Buchla systems and present in many modern Euroreact oscillators, including the Megnoise, DPO, Harvestman, Hertz, Donut, Intella, Gels, Shapeshifter, Sputnik's Modular Complex Oscillator, and many, many, many more. Complex oscillator is based on two bento box oscillators internally. They're connected via frequency modulation, amplitude modulation, and variable strength sync. Both oscillators have a last stage wave folding for even more timbral flexibility. Very badass. So I want to learn where those wave folders are and check that out, definitely. Uh, for a really great signal path, combine the two oscillator in outputs from this with a logic mix block mix block a logic mix block so i wonder what that is um logic mix <clears throat> takes in two signals and processes them in a logical fashion options include taking the minimum of the two signal and the maximum ring modulation and more uh, max takes the greater of the two inputs. Min takes the lesser. Ring mul multiplies the inputs together. Pong is based on the excellent shape shif shapeshifter by IntelliGel. Uh, if input 1 is positive, take that. Else, if input 2 is negative, take that. Else, 0. Uh, rect rectifies the components and sums. Sum, difference, ping, and terrain, wave terrain synthesis taken from Jim Clark's Nord modular book. So a number of different uh, mix types that you can use. Um, so this is an interesting, so a complex oscillator is actually two oscillators in one. And so ideally, we may want to go um, out of, say, this directly into... Uh, the mixer, and that would kind of keep things more simple. Or, as this thing suggests, as the uh, information behind complex oscillators suggests, we could combine this with a mix block to have kind of a lot more capabilities in terms of how uh, the signals can be carried out. So I'm actually going to follow the advice of that. And let's check this out using the logic mix block. From Euro React. And uh, what we want to do is set up the gate. So let's go ahead and set up our gate signal here. Oh, no, that's not what we're going to set up. We set up. There we go. And. Alright, so many capabilities just with this mini oscillator, and now we kind of know where we sit there. Uh, but let's look at the complex oscillator. And let's at least just take this initial output, and let's go into the second input here on the VCA. 
And if we recall the routing, that second input is then routed into the second output. So that's going to the mixer here. So let's turn these both down a little bit. Let's actually kill this first one and see what we have on the second one. So we have no pitch, so now I know why. Let's hook up the pitch. So this could use a filter as well. So let's look up in the Euro React library, let's see what we have in terms of filters. Comb filter and entropy filter. So let's look at the comb filter. The simple comb filter it differs from the standard library's modern comb that uses the bento box oscillator's frequency control. This makes it a lot easier to tune the comb to useful values. In addition to this, it adds the ability to choose between two FM modes, dry and wet control. Um, so cool. Let's go out of this into comb. And then um, out of comb and into input two on the VCA. It's interesting. Interesting things happening. Regular comb inverted. Controls the amount of feedback. 12 o'clock is no feedback. So we're running kind of hot, I know for sure. So let's tame the volume just a little bit. really don't need that so we'll bring it back in if we do So, um, ring multiplies the inputs together. So what does this sound like? Just... Cool. What does Pong sound like? Woo! That's pretty sweet. Wrecked? What does that sound like? It's awesome. So each one has, I mean, you know, there's, there's different timbre. There's different character for each, that's for sure. So let's map some controls.
Until next time.